Creating a more engaged workforce is a shared responsibility. It requires a teamed approach, a partnership involving individuals, managers, and executives. Individuals need to act on their engagement. They need to take time to assess their personal goals and satisfaction drivers to clearly define what success looks like for them. Since this is a partnership, they need to communicate with their manager primarily to share their aspirations and needs, and also to clarify where the organization needs them to focus their talents and energy. And finally, they have to take action. They can expect help, coaching and guidance along the way, but at the end of the day, they must own their engagement. No one can make them more engaged. No one can create great days at work for them. They need to identify ways to get to and stay in the apex. Managers are critical. Since engagement is an individualized equation, managers are well positioned to work one-on-one -on -one with their team members to help them reach higher levels of satisfaction and contribution. The fact is, managers need to care about engagement if they want to achieve their goals. They need to build solid coaching relationships with their team members, coaching for performance and for development. They need to align daily priorities, interests, and talents with the organization's goals. They need to recognize and show appreciation for discretionary effort and achievements that are in line with current strategy. And finally, they need to engage, engage themselves, and engage each individual on their team in dialogue about what matters most for the organization and for them. The best managers are able to directly connect the individual passions and proficiencies of their team to the organization's priorities. Okay, so what about the executives, the senior leaders? What is their role in this themed approach? Clearly, they are also individuals, so they need to take control of their own engagement. They also have direct reports, so they must model what they expect their managers to do with their teams. This is a great opportunity for them to lead by example. But beyond this, executives play an important role in setting the tone of the organization as guardians of the culture. Of course, they need to provide clarity around mission, goals, and strategy. Ultimately, they need to make their case for engagement. By this, we mean that they should foster a sense of community and belonging. They have to be authentic in what they say and what they do. They must create significance in the aims of the organization to help employees find greater meaning in the work that they do. And finally, excite the workforce to higher levels of performance and commitment. If your organization makes employee engagement a daily priority instead of an annual event, if you ensure that all individuals, managers, and executives are clear on their roles in creating a more engaged workforce, you can, over time, build a culture of engagement that fuels sustainable performance and great days of work. You'll achieve an organization where every member of the workforce thrives, achieving their ambitions and finding meaning at work, while also contributing even more to secure your organization's long-term success.